Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Sarasun campaign. In the last episode, we finished up a war with the command where we were able to take a decent amount of land off of them. Now, the command is not a pushover now. They will still be a threat, but we have at least beaten them one time, which, you know, feels good. Always feels good to beat down the command. The problem now remains, and as we have known since pretty much the beginning, that the command is not the only threat, but also Buvari, our current ally, but that is going to have to change relatively soon. Now, Buvari right now is sitting on 74,000 troops, and I need all of their core territory. So, yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Now, we're in the middle of annexing Semferong here, and Semferong does have one core still on Buvari. It's going to take, I believe, 48 favors to do this. Yes, 48 favors. So, we're going to want to make sure that we are currently currying favors with them, so we can hopefully get that province back before we are done with the annexation process. Uh, let's bring a bunch of troops over. We just got out of a war with one Shia. We just took a huge chunk of land here. And hopefully this kind of gives us the edge we need. Now, we're going to need new friends. New friends other than Buvari. And there's not a lot of good options, but Mahuang is looking like the best of what we can get here. They're also allied to our ally, Beyond Fang, which is pretty useful. That does put us over our Diplo relations, but that is fine. We will survive. And Buvari is calling me into a war. I will accept, but I will not be helping. They will have to win on their own. <clears throat> Though, actually, that's not true. Let's head in Mercs. If we help, we get favors, right? So we'll help. We'll drill our regular troops, but we will help with our Mercs. We will hopefully get some good stuff. Yep, the command is back at it again, attacking Dirtwater. They did have a coalition to clear on them. I don't think the coalition was able to do much. I think Raj and Haga maybe got some of their land back. It might have also been a white piece. I honestly don't know. They might have lost land, to be honest. I have literally no idea what uh, what they're up to. All right, we will go ahead and take this interest per annum because it gets us up to the District Reform Act. Sarah Sung has long suffered under the scourge of thievery, cryonism, and corruption, creating an environment in which large swaths of the city degenerated into slums run by thieves' guild and corrupt officials. The District Reform Act streamlined the organization of the administration, proving effective in curbing excesses and encouraging to develop more of the long-term suppressed potential of those boroughs. Minus 10% dev cost, which is pretty sweet to have. Pretty sweet to have. All right, we're just going to send our mercs on. Just be helpful. Just get some amount of uh, help here. And we got the National Bank. Amazing. What's our inflation at? Uh, zero. And our interest is also at zero, but we'll go for the yearly inflation reduction. And I will gain that one stab and 821 crowns. Thank you very, very much. Uh, now, what do I want to do, I guess, with my money? We do have Tuyayasa here. That doesn't really help us all that much because it's owned by our vassals. So let's not do that. Any valuable buildings? Yes, there's that one. Could build more governing buildings, more manpower buildings. Uh, you know what? We'll build some land force limit buildings. How about that? Never hurts to build up some land force buildings. Rightful ownership. Lose my core on Semferong. You mean my claim? No, they want the province of Semferong. Uh, no. No, no. I don't think we'll be doing that. You will not be getting that province back. It is ours. Sorry. Nothing personal. It's just ours now. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to keep drilling. We need professionalism. We need manpower. We need lots of things if we are going to betray Buvari. Now, I'm thinking maybe we release another vassal in Bimlao. Bimlao has a lot of cores on Buvari. A lot of cores that we could use for reconquest, which would be pretty sweet. Be pretty sweet. Will not lie. Will not lie. All right, some Shiakin rebels. Let's stop drilling. Oh, we did stop drilling. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll give our ruler military command as well. Okay, apparently I didn't need to do that. Uh, I'll pay off your debt. And we'll send our god tier general over in this direction. And hopefully he will be able to uh, take out these rebels. We get a little bit more morale. There we go. How are we looking on Crownland? We're at 87%. That's fine. All right. Then I'll get unseized by the fort. You know what? We'll go help out Semfer uh, Semferong here. That's 
probably fine. I can't get here because I'm blocked off by you. Blocked off by you. I could get claims here. Yeah, he definitely wants that land. And we do want to own everything along the river at some point. And owning this jungle would allow me to get a good defensive fort over here. Yeah, let's build a spy network up here. We'll, we'll get to work. And there's the favors that we need to get Semferong's land back. In the coalition against someone? Wow, they really messed up then. There we go. Perfect. So that does make it longer for us to annex Sarasung, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Placate. But at least we are now in the process of doing that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Now, do I have... No, I don't have the nobility estate to be able to give out strong duchies. So we are just sitting here losing a dip a month. Uh, is this alley with Mahuang really worth that? Probably not. But I'm going to keep it anyways. No, you're getting rolled. You're getting rolled. There's all the lights. I was hoping they'd stay a little bit stronger, but yeah, now they're fighting Buvari. So that will not work. Because Buvari is allied to Kibet Talani, which is going to cause problems for us. Big, 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 big problems. No doubt about that one. Alright, let's do some military development here. Uh, we can expand admin one. So twice, get that up to 10. We can... Do I need to take Diplotech here? Yep, we do. Okay. But is there anywhere that I can do military development that's in this state? That's not, you know, that much. Doesn't look like it. So... I guess we go develop up Semferong. I can encourage development here as well. There we go, get that up to 10, expand development there. Uh, you know, we might as well get up to the next expand development. How are we looking on governing capacity? Looking perfectly fine. Looking perfectly fine. Uh, temple restoration. We should probably do this because we are the high philosophy religion. So we, we like temples. Where are they at, though? Here? Okay, we're going to have to build a fort on this province if we want to do that. Do I want to build a fort on this province? Not really. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Don't really want to do that. In the slightest. There we go. State that up, and state that up. Perfect. Need a little bit more admin to make it full cores, but will be worth it in the end. I will go ahead and accept Situ culture as well. Let's make sure we're getting a little bit more value out of those provinces. We're up to 68 thousand manpower we have access to let's get back to drilling monopoly company formed lots of money or diplo points i'm going to go with the diplo points and we are up to tier nine or tier 10 sorry tier 10 government reform morale of armies manpower recovery speed or diplo rep but we lose republican tradition i'm gonna go with the morale of armies we're we're in hales we need morale of armies we have big people to fight that are not going to go down easily uh, we don't have the luxury of doing this the easy way. Now, we do have a merchant, or sorry, we have an artist here, but I kind of like the idea of keeping my my uh, court mage. So, we'll just take the money. Thank you. We basically just paid for the upgrade. All right, Kitadora, you are good to be claimed. Now, if I decked you, how many guys am I up against? 30,000. If I promised Buvari land, oh, they would join, but I don't really want to promise Buvari land. You are one tech behind me. We could probably win this war on our own. Probably. Uh, how close is Beyond Fang to wanting to join? Distant War of 24. Yeah. I think the Diplo tech there. And our trust is pretty high, isn't it? It is. We could get it higher, though. If I can get the... Really? I'm fighting a... I'm fighting a coalition war for you? I mean, that's fine, actually. That helps us. Because now, I can declare war here. 
and these two can't join. Which makes my life way, way easier. So yeah, yeah, Buvari, don't worry. I'll definitely help you. I'll definitely, definitely, definitely help you in your, your war here. For sure, for sure, for sure. Don't even worry about it, bro. Don't even worry about it. I'll be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get to Sichin down their capital. And we're going to probably want a full annex here. We need at least this jungle fort, their capital, and this province. Like, at least. At least. Because we're looking for, for good fort lines against Buvari for that war. Like, we, we just have to be ready for that war. We really do. Really, really do. Now, if we could block them from just flooding over and sieging things down, that would be kind of huge. And that is going to have to happen at these choke points of the rivers. Okay, who's in this war? This is the one I care about. Okay, this guy and this guy. Okay, send the regular troops down there. Send the mercs up here. There we go. Election. A three five two a four six four or five six three we get the four six four they turn into a five six five okay i mean i'm, I'm fine with that i'm fine with that uh Kietadora, can i get away with full annexing you mm, what's that command with the truth truth with the command up 34 yes i can well once we break our alliance with Buvari, I'm not sure that argument will hold up. But we do need to take the peace deal anyways. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, yes, we will. Yes, we will, in fact, take that. Uh, then we're going to seize probably this province. Because we're going to release Bim Lao. So it'll just make it faster for us to take it. And we release them. And we have a bunch of reconquest we could do. I should get up to 50... Spy, or not 50 spy mark, uh, 50 favors with Puvari. That we can ask them to break their alliance with Kabet Talani. Because that's a really big problem for us. Oh, he's a powerful mage, too. He's a bad, powerful mage, but yeah, his only ally is Puvari. So if we can isolate these two somehow, that would be huge. That would be huge. There's another conversion. There we go. Let's make sure that we have. Oh, what are you doing up here? Uh, we have a conversion edict on. Oh, we do, actually. Cool. Uh, we don't need the dev cost. We don't need the dev cost. We don't need the dev cost. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's annoying that they're seizing that down. It looks like our vassal's going to try and fight them. I don't know if they'll get there in time. We can help them out. We can throw a defensive edict down. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, okay, cool. They're going to get there. Not because of anything I did, but, you know. My vassal, so that counts for something. Counts for something. Uh, and I'm not helping Buvari in this war. Like, I know I said we need favors. I'm not wasting manpower for them. No way. I will loot. No! Our really good general just died. Oh, that is like so super sad. That is so super sad. Hire anyone? I mean, he's alright. Uh, they just won't ever, won't ever hold up. Won't ever hold up. There we go. Not a stack wipe. And you've declared on Rosh and Haka here. Yeah, see, the, they're they're already back up to being strong. We may need to use our friend Buvari again to beat down the command. Again. Again, again. Might just have to be the way it is. Might just have to be the way it is. There we go. Take the money. A little bit less money. Perfect. 406 admin points that we don't have, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, core all. Core we can. We'll find the rest of the admin points somewhere. Oh, they're around here somewhere. I'm sure we'll find them. Merchants are suffering. Uh, yeah, I'll give you the diffle points. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Merc's gonna stay down here. You need to go to here and start drilling. There we go. The punitive war is over. Yay! Buvari got stronger! Woo! Uh, we're gonna take the prestige here. I need more money. Or more buildings. 
more buildings, please. And more money. So let's uh, make sure we are decreasing autonomy in all of our new provinces. There we go. Now I know that once Shia does have this pretty sweet permanent dame here over here and a gold province. Now, Buvari probably would not be thrilled if I went and took that. There's also a gold province down here that they would be more okay with me holding. But I do kind of want the gold mine. I'll not lie. Beyond Fang is calling me in against Ashikuma. That's fine. Ashikuma is not a threat. They are tiny and insignificant. You do not need my help. So we will continue to drill. And I need to go and drill here because people keep walking through and making me take attrition. Right, we can have 75,000 troops. We have the capability to be very strong, so we should probably fill out that capability, yeah? What's combat width? Uh, 27. 27. You know what? I'll even use cavalry. For you cav lovers out there, there you go. I'll use a little bit of cav. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. All right, get to coring that up. Bolt. Haramari minorities immigrate elsewhere. I mean, sure. I'm not thrilled with you leaving, but I won't stop you either. Seems kind of messed up. If you want to leave, I suppose you can leave. I just don't know if that's really the best choice. The command, I don't think, is super friendly to Haramari. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, there's Integrating Sephiroth. Oh, but our borders look so much better this way if I don't have that vassal. They look so much better this way if I don't have that vassal. And like, if I release Bim Lao, it's going to make cursed borders. Ah, uh, it's too much reconquest not to have. It's too much reconquest not to have. We have to release while we're at peace, though, but we will do that. And there's our truce with the command up. If a coalition starts to form, then we immediately go after the command. Like, immediately go after the command. No hesitations. We cannot afford a coalition war right now. Cannot afford it. All right, there's Bim Lao. You are at war, so I can't demand you return provinces. Maybe we can use favors and stuff to, to help us out here. Okay, let's go ahead and get you up to another full stack. We're going from, from yeah, we're pretty strong, to, oh, God, they're very strong. That's the, that's the kind of vibe here. We don't have to rush that. There's a fort. We're good. There we go. This shouldn't give any more separatism either. Sure, I'll give you some money. Find a mage influence. Okay. There we go. Hire another general. Ooh, that's a little bit better. Our master recruiter has died. We're going to want to grab this discipline guy for now. And remember, we're running two level three advisors. So if we need to... We can also start our Golden Age. Um, if we need to lower that, then we can. Now, we're kind of at a crossroads here. We can choose Religious Wars, or we can choose Adventurer Armies. Now, Religious Wars is going to help us out specifically against taking more land off of the command. But Adventurer Armies will absolutely help us when we fight Buvari, and we will have to merc up. We will have to merc up. It will not be a choice. I think I'm going to go for Adventure Armies here. 33% Mercenary Maintenance, 50% Merc Manpower. That's going to come in handy. We don't need more land off the command. I just need to be able to weaken Buvari enough. That is the goal. That is the goal. But first, we have other things we need to take care of. Uh, yeah, we have lots of Rebels. Lots of Rebels. That's the thing we need to take care of. Let's make sure we are improving with Bim Lao, and I would like to integrate you soon, so let's improve with you as well. Because you're just an OPM down here that I would rather just integrate, to be honest with you. Uh, let's get to building that fort on that province, and build a fort on this province. Literally every defendable province we're going to have a fort on. Every single one. Hostile rhetoric. More AE or lose 25 Diplo points. Goodbye Diplo points. AE is already big enough of a problem. I don't need to make it worse. I really, really don't. Really, really don't. There we go. Take care of that. 
sure we get back to drilling. Uh, let's start to build a spy network up on the command because we are going to go to war with them again first. Do I need to take tech here? I mean, textile manufacturing would be kind of nice. There's two silk over there, but I have a lot of cloth. I mean, three. One, two, three. But I feel like that's worth. The command declares war on one Shia. I'm not a fan of that. Finishing an economic would be really good as well. Especially for that discipline policy. No, we gotta finish the idea group. We gotta finish the idea group. We're doing okay on money. We're doing fine. Uh, we're doing much worse when it comes to literally anything else. Such as army quality. Trust your neighbor. Okay. That's fine. I could take Miltech early here. Not sure that's the play, though. I would rather do military development. Won't lie to you. Just getting some military dev out there. Just working away, getting us good stuff. Make Buvari like us more and give us more prestige. Uh, all right, so Buvari, hello. I need, well, first of all, can I even annex you at the moment? Is that allowed? Yes, but it'll take super long time. Get to my negative Diplo rep, that's not even worth it. Uh, how many favors do I have? 25. And if I want to return provinces, so returning bay gives me 18 favors. We don't want to do anything that's not directly connected to our territory. Taking this is nice because it's a fort. Let's do it. Boom. So now we take back Bim Lao. Take back Bim Lao. Or, uh, sorry. Frefrem. Fref Frefrem? Frefrem? Something like that. Uh, let's make sure that we are occurring favorites with them at all times so we can call them into the war against the command. But we just need to start taking just little provinces away. Just a little bit here. A little bit there. One fort here, one fort there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. N nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen. No problems, no problems. Just ignore the fact, Buvari, that I'm slowly eating away at your country and trying to weaken you as much as possible before we kill you. But I'm sure we could be friends in the meantime, right? There's no reason to rush to be in enemies. Uh, let's take a fort line here. Okay, it's looking fine. They delete this fort in Tugayasa, though, which I gotta admit, I'm not a huge fan of, but it is what it is. Yeah, I, I mean. Did you hear this fort too? Or maybe you didn't have one here. I'm going to build one here. And you're going to keep it. Uh, Wow. Chance to get a level 3 guy that's 50% cheaper. Yeah, I'll do that. Can we get a 654, a 462, or a 465? I thought I already decided we got a 465 who turns into a 566. Okay. Uh, what's your trait? Silver Tongue, Improved Relations. Actually, kind of sweet. Not lie. Actually, kind of sweet. Uh, we may want to take Miltech early here. Apparently, I can get NO for taking Diplotech. But I can do that on the year tech, so I don't have to do it yet. Because if I can get up to Tech 12, while well, the command's still on Tech 9, we will smash his troops. Even with their infantry combat ability, we will smash his troops. Will not even be close. I will take the Diplo power there. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't miss it. Because if I don't leave my cursor here, I will 100% forget that I can take the NO early. Uh, you know, the pop-up's all the way up here. I'm not looking at it. It's uh, it's right out of my direct view, which means uh, Poey Brain cannot understand what is going on. <laughs> what do you mean there are things happening that I cannot directly see? That's crazy. All right, let me go ahead and take Diplotech here. We don't have to take Miltech yet. Don't have to take Miltech yet. Just keep on developing. And by the way, for our mission tree, I'm not ignoring our mission tree. We just need to start our golden age. And then we can start getting permanent claims. Actually, permanent claims on where we wanted to go, so that would have been nice. Uh, and then all provinces in the Porcelain Cities province group have at least 25 dev. And I gained... Actually, that's really good. I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to complete this last mission. 
Like, it just seems bad for us to turn to a monarchy. Like, we're so much better the way we are. Maybe we'll do it as, like, a final thing, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do I want to start my Golden Age right now, right before I start a war? Not really. Because I don't want to be in the Golden Age until I absolutely need it. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't think they'd be brave enough to do that. So here's the deal. If I say yes, I'm not going to get anything. If I say no, I can probably get them back as an ally because our trust is so high. I think we need to say no. I can't I can't join him like that. I have to be the one that declares the war. I have to. I have to. But that does give us a pretty good opportunity to go into the war on our own. To be fair. To be fair. That means he'll be distracted. Uh yeah, we don't own Oh, we own one center trade in Shadow now that we can upgrade. Uh, let's encourage development here. Each up to 25. I kind of want to get this up to level 3. Just because it'd be nice to have it. Because, look, I mean, we have barely any control here. Though, to be fair, it's mostly our vassal who has the control. There we go. So he just lost a lot of land over to the command. So now the command is stuck in a fight against Beyond Fang. And then now... I sweep in with Buvari's help. But what does Buvari want? Yeah, see, the problem is that Buvari wants this land that he has absolutely no business declaring as his right. Absolutely zero business declaring that he should want any of this. But he is. But he is. He wants all these urban provinces. So let's make sure that we set all of this as vital interest. We go, hey, Buvari... No. Bad, Buvari. Bad. <laughs> You're not allowed. You're not allowed. Uh, let's stop drilling. Move you over here. Can I build three more cannons? Yes, I, I sure can. Build a lot more troops, to be fair. Uh, high philosophy. We can go for... Actually, a decent amount here. We're going to go for the Radiant Sun again. Just the best choice for us. The dev cost. Uh, I'll lose my Diplo Advisor. We'll go for... Probably the Improved Relations. Get him up to level 2. Do I have a Morale of Armies guy? I do. He's level 3. I'm honestly okay with that. Let's go up to the Morale of Armies guy. Let's take Miltech now. Yep, there we go. We can upgrade to our next infantry, which we should probably go for the roster hit infantry here. Yeah, go for the Rasarheed Infantry. Get both of you on the border with the command and ready for war. Make sure we get our cannons up here. There we go. Make sure we get our mercs up here as well. And then we will be... Oh, our general died. Uh, let's get two generals here. All right, well, one of them's good, I guess. Can't have everybody be too good, right? That'd just be unfair. That would just be unfair. Let's make sure that you actually have the uh, better general and you have the worst one since you're mercs. And yeah, I think that means that next episode, we once again go to war with the command. And then I think after that, after we've done this peace deal, take what we need, we turn around, we break our alliance here, and we, we see what we can do against the merc summoners of Buvari. But that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.